All right, guys, welcome back to part two. Oh, and I'm already spilling like peanuts everywhere. Okay, so I had a little bit of a uh, man juice, and I'm okay. I'm back and I'm excited. I'm not like falling asleep now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna be the only one in the world that's gonna question you on calling beer man juice. <laughs> okay, it sounds funny. <laughs> But considering the fact they didn't see the can <laughs> saying that you just rehydrated on man juice <laughs> doesn't necessarily make it sound very good. Why do you have to make it Why weird? Why can't you just say you had some beer? <laughs> Why do you need to make it weird? You could have even said you had some water, but no, I had some man juice. <laughs> I get it, it's 2019, you do what you want to do. But then they're going to be like, where'd they get the man Juice. The only other person there is <laughs> Oh well, my god. This just made You just made it worse. Yeah, we gotta freaking like child block this video now. They're gonna be like, Mommy, what's man juice? I wanna drink some man juice. He's like, son. <laughs> it's good for your kids. It's good for I don't your know why, why I don't know why his mom sounds like a man, but like, son, <laughs> you're not old enough to have man juice. Because man juice is beer. <laughs> Now all, all the manliest people call beer man juice. <laughs> you ask for a tall glass of man juice when you go to the bar. I'm just gonna call this huge lang. <laughs> huge <laughs> lang. <laughs> you got some weird shit on your mind tonight, man. It's like before you were like two plus three equals four, and now you're like, I can't wait to have some man juice with, with my huge lang. <laughs> you ever read the guys I'm crying to? <laughs> It's like, at first you couldn't read, and now you're just a weirdo. <laughs> okay, for a cost. <clears throat> 900, 900. Whew. <clears throat> okay, search your deck for a card named Pang Tong. This is the weirdest card I'm reading. Just keep reading it, dude. I have faith in you. You okay. can finish it. <laughs> okay, enter. Search your card for a card named Pang Tong. Reveal it and put it in your hand and then shuffle your deck. Huge Lang, you're looking for Pang Tong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, get it out <laughs> Rune 4, enter. You may put a card named Pang Tong from your hand into the field. Rune 4, and tap. Vanish on the resonator, cancel target chance spell. That's kind of nice. Yeah. But it's target again, so it's kind of okay. Right. Ooh, it's target chant though. That? Frontline Warrior. I like the way it looks. That's a nice card. Yeah. For a 2 drop, 600, 500. Oh my swiftness. god, that's really good, dude. Yeah. 2 drop, 6, 5 with swiftness. Now, the one thing they could have done to make this card worse is if they made it too solid red, but because they left one open, that yeah. makes it more useful in other decks. That's kind of cool. Just Ooh. to give you, I, I know that this second video isn't that long yet, but just to give you guys an idea <laughs> of the absolute nightmare you're about to sit through, this is how much of a box we have left, okay? This is why pre-release kits are the absolute best quality when it comes to buying cards for a new set. Just just buy pre-release kits. All right, Frontline Warrior again. Guys, is this one full art as well? No, that's just regular. And we have a Mutation Slime, regular. Ruined Earth again. Nice. Second one. And we have a Fox Shigami for our special. Okay, we're just gonna go through them, power through them here. No, 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 you don't have to go fast. Just, I guess we'll have to talk a little bit less about man juice and a little <laughs> yeah. more about the new cards. <laughs> and the schlong thing, or whatever it was called. The fat long schlong. <laughs> what are you saying, you weirdo? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Lady Hong's Karaki. Karakuri soldier. Oh my god. Just, you know what, how about this? Every time you see a card that looks Chinese, you pass me the card and I can try to butcher it a little less than you do, okay? Oh god. A Karakuri soldier. Okay. Karakuri I don't know what a Karakuri is, but they look like no, robots. No, Lady Hong, or Hang, or Hong. Maybe Lady Hong! It's probably Hong. What Hong. Is, what's that, what's that card? I only used that one. We haven't seen this one yet. No. Um, it's uncommon. The Unsealing of God, it's a one cost, destroy target edition. Mm. Well, that's a That's question. the addition destruction that I was talking about earlier. Okay, I'm gonna put this one with the, um, with the rares, just because I want that card. You haven't even made a green deck yet, would you I want I do want to make a green deck. Okay, on the hand, we've already seen this card. Yep. Common. Okay. Mystery box. 
Wow, seven costs, divinity of three is a chant room. I got the number right. You did, <clears throat> you did, I was, I was, I thought it said <laughs> you proud six. Of me? <laughs> I was, I was ready to make the mistake. Reveal the top five cards of your deck. Put all non-chant cards, throw among them to the field and the rest into the graveyard. If this card was awakened, players cannot chase it. Awakening, discard your hand. It's kind of nice. Nice. It doesn't make it any cheaper? No. Wow. What? It doesn't make it any cheaper. I was kind of being yeah, like... Wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll keep moving forward. I'm going to see if there's something... something Ruins Beneath the Flora. It's a four cost. Addition. At the end of your turn, reveal the top card of your Magic Stone deck. If it's a win, Magic Stone put it into your field. We've already seen this. Yeah, card. so if you just run Mono Bridge, you're getting an extra stone every turn, essentially. Yeah. We have the big giant wheel again, and we have those. This is a new one, Storm Cat. And we probably want to play this card from, if you control an angel, this card deals 2,000 damage to target resonator. Hey, it's a five cost, meh, garbage, garbage. Boop. Not garbage. Gar um, you know what, I should start using the garbage pile. Y you can, if you want. <laughs> I should start really, oh! Teleport, oh, I've already seen teleport. If you build the top card of your deck, if it's a resonator, put it through a field, four cost, eh. Hey look, it's Zombie Dragon. Hey look, it's uh... Oh no, this isn't Table Flip. It's the Resonator from Table Flip. Yeah. Rikuyu, Cat Tongued Tea Master. One thousand, oh, 1100, 1200 for a, cheese five cost, enter. Look at the top three cards of your deck. You may put a win Resonator with total cost three of your list from among them into the field. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in random order. So. I guess when I was asking about if green can summon quite a lot of cards, they can, or something like this. That's ridiculous. Whenever another wind resonant enters the field under your under your control, put a T capture on this card. When this card is put through a graveyard from the field, you may gain 400 life for each T counter that was on it. If there were three or more T counters, draw a card. Wow, it's kind of like a life gain green deck. Yes, yeah, that, that looks just does not look good. It's full art. No. It just, no. Just, no. Bad. Bad. So, this we'll, is we'll put it over in the garbage pile. This is a discussion that I had with Damon back in the day before they released the card, um, Last Days of the Pitiful Dragonoid. Yep. Uh, which is a, a one drop green card that uh, removes all strike counters or um, counters a red chant. Yep. So, back in the day before that card was released, I was talking to Dayman and I said that Magic the Gathering had this awesome card that said remove all counters uh, on stuff that your opponent controls, right? Yeah. Which was awesome because they removed it off of their commanders or removed them off of their, um, what are those guys called? Their uh, Planeswalkers. Okay. 1-1 uh, one, one counters, minus counters, everything, right? And I was telling them like, uh, and I was telling Dayman, there's gonna be eventually a card that uh, Force of Will is gonna release that's gonna do the exact same thing. Remove all counters from uh, permanents that your opponent controls. They haven't done it yet. I really, really, really hope that they do it sometime during this block because you have guys like this guy who have T counters. You've got like the counters that would be yeah. on Orchard of the Immortals. Yeah. Uh, you've got counters that are one, uh, plus one, plus one counters which are on uh, uh, machine resonators. You've got minus counters that are done by stuff like uh, Belzebub. It's like there's so many different types of counters right now, and the only card that gets rid of any kind of counters is the one that gets rid, rid of strength counters on uh, freaking what's his face on Kyrick. Yeah. And now that Time Spinning Witch is out of the picture, Kyrick is going to become ridiculously good. Like he's going to be almost uncompeted. Yeah. All right. Come to to agree. Chad Rune, Power of Immortality, two cost. You may pay one less play card from Rune. Target Resonator, oh, we already read it. Gains 400 when this card is put into the graveyard from the field. Put it into the field, rest it under its owner's control until the end of the chart. Here, pass me That's nice. I do like this card. It's got really nice art. If you get one of these full art, I will definitely trade you for it. Sure. Sounds good. Okay, next one. It's the weird, like, flipped over. I want this in full art. Just because it has Adam in it. Oh, are you just gonna play it upside down? <laughs> no, they're just gonna play it upside down the entire time. We still need to make an Adam deck. Yeah, we do. 
Okay, for a five cost, the Battle of Sun and Moon, Divinity cost of two, Chant Rune. Quick cast, you pay one light less. Okay, sorry, you pay one light more to play this card from a rune area. Recover two target resonators. They they gain 200, 400 until the end of the turn. It's kind of nice. I don't know. I think Blessings of the it's Sun fine. is better. I want to say Blessing of the Sun is better. Because it becomes a one drop. And, but it only it's gives... uncommon. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't I know. I'm gonna, oh, that's a big... Yeah. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. Put, put it in the pile. Put it in the pile. We're definitely putting it in the pile. Boom. Master Fija. Certified garbage. Definitely. There's going to be so many people going like, Master Fija, you're such a shithead. You don't know anything about Force of Will. And that's where you're right, viewer. <laughs> Can I oh, nice! It's Guinevere, dude. Guinevere. Yeah. It's like she comes from Arthur, dude. She yeah. comes from the. the, the okay, keep story. passing me like more decks. Cause... Did you even read what Guinevere does? We've already seen Guinevere. I don't think we have. We have 100%. We have. Okay, cost of one, 0, 200. Enter. Put two 100 100 counters on the target machine resonator. Banish a machine. Put two 100 100 counters on this card. Uh, rest, like tap the card, remove a total of 12. Are you gonna just gonna cut it as a no. card or <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> remove a total of 12 100 100 cal uh, counters from any number of machine resonators you control. Search your deck for a card named Super Mobile Fortress, Camelot, and put it into the field. Yeah, so that's something We've that already gives read it. everything yeah. flying. Yeah, that's ridiculous, man. It's a good card. I'm not saying it's not. We've already seen it though. Uh, yeah, yeah, I still like this art. Like the full art version of this was nice. Another orchard. Ooh, Stranger from Re-Earth. Have we seen this yet? I don't think we have. Chant Rune, four cost. Divinity cost of three. You may pay one less to play this card from Rune area, so cost of three. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may put a fairy tale resonator from among them into the field, put the rest on the top on the bottom of your deck in a random order. If no reason was put to feel this way, recovered up to three target magic stones. Yeah, so it essentially just undoes itself. That's kind of nice. Well, no, only if you don't get a resonator. So it's like you put you put your luck into it. No, if no resonator was put into the field this way. Yeah, with this card. Yeah. So this card puts a resonator onto the field. If you didn't see a resonator, like if you're doing uh, Faith no. in Darkness, but you didn't see any two drops or less. That's what it's. This sick. only looks for a fairy tale. Yes, off the top five. Yeah. So if you don't find a fairy tale, then there. it just undoes yeah. itself. Yeah. Hey, you got a full art. Nice. Full art fortress. Oh wait, cards are right here now. Yeah. There's a lot of like same cards. I don't think we've done the mist one. I've skipped through it a bunch of times. Cost of two, quick cast. Rest target resonator. Rest up to one second target resonator if this card was awakened. Like, I mean, there's, you're right. There's zero support for Loki. I mean, they've even increased like awakening costs. Like, yeah, that awakening because it costs be more. One. That awakening should be one, dude. Just. Uh... I've been floor, I've already seen it. Skynet. Have we seen the Skynet yet? I don't no, think we so. have not. Cost of five, Divinity two. It's a master rune, okay. You may pay two less to play this card if your dear is Arthur or Arthur Knight of Machines. Oh, okay, I have, to, I have to admit it. There's no Loki. God, I hate it when you're right. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> this card deals damage equal to the total attack of machine resonators you control divided as you choose to any number of target resonators your opponent controls. Skynet is nice. Ridiculous. And we got Target Zombie, which is awesome as full art. Nice. Although, it just kind of looks like one big giant blurb. He kind of just looks like an evil meatball. I thought it looked... Okay, this right here looks like a face. Looks like an unhappy uh, face. Like two eyes, a little bit of hair, and just like... Uh, I see it! Frowny <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah, zoom in, zoom in on it. Zoom in on that. Okay, let me, we'll let me show stand up for this. A little, little sad face. <laughs> a little sad face on the So target. here's a little beard. There's a little unhappy face. There's like two little eyes and a little hair. <laughs> yeah. 
It really takes a special kind of person to see that sort of thing. <laughs> you gotta really appreciate the art. The, the original artist is probably going like, wow, somebody finally saw it! <laughs> That'd be hilarious. If they actually like put stuff like that in there and be like, nobody's gonna ever, ever see this. Hey, this is new. Ancient Ruins Researcher, cost of five, 900, 1100, enter draw. Wow. Wah wah. <laughs> wah wah. A garbage pile. <gasps> Glaze of the Fire Emblem. Just <laughs> Glaze of the Fire Emblem. Hey, these kind of looks like like little donuts. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Gain 600 life for three costs. More drunken. Oh! Have you seen this yet? Sandora's Invasion? Five cost divinity champ room? I don't think so. You may pay one less to play this card from the rune area. Look at the top five cards of your deck. If you pull a fire resonator with total cost one. Oh, yeah, we've already seen it. Nope, garbage. That goes back in the garbage pile. Oh man, you're kind of brutal. Yeah, I'm just, just no. Just no. Yeah, draw a card for one cost. Yeah. This works well with your deck. <gasps> Soul Prison! This, oh, I'm really excited to see this card in full art, hopefully. <clears throat> Master Rune. Total cost of six. You may pay three less to play this card if you control if your J ruler is Lucifer or Lucifer Fallen Angel of Sorrow. Tiger Resonator gains zero minus one thousand until the end of the turn. When it is put into the graveyard this turn, put it into the field under your control. That card's good, dude. You specifically do it to something that's already taken damage that's really big. Let's say like, yeah. you do it to your opponent's Belial, right? Yeah. You already pinged it for 200 damage or something. You do this minus 1,000. You've gotten rid of a really huge threat, and then you get it onto your field, man. Yeah. It's like a control. Okay, I'm gonna put it... It's freaking Glaze of the Fire Emperor in full art! <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, eh. Glaze. No, I'm just gonna do this and make the make the garbage pile bigger. Oh, why? That's so mean. <laughs> just, just. There's like decent cards in there. I'm sure there are. We'll just make the garbage pile bigger. Also, put your, put your cards in the right. No, pile. I want that one. I want that one in there just because I want it fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna. These are your cards. I'm not gonna take. No, them. it's not that. It's just so I actually remember to use it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Corrupt teachings. Have we looked at corrupt teachings? Yes. Oh God. Yes, yes we have. It's not too bad. The six Jinjo statues. I'm starting to like, like, okay, all the cards, all the green cards in this, in this uh, block I'm liking. Yeah. Like, we can finally build, I can finally build a, a, a green deck because I haven't had many, I've only had the new Bat Helmet cluster for green cards. Mm -hmm. More Schrodinger, and then Stormcat. Have you seen Stormcat? Yep. Six. Oh, oh God. Put it at the bottom. <laughs> Just put it at the bottom. It's the 2,000 damage one, guys. No, not happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, now this is gonna bug me. Like, if we've already, if if you haven't watched the first video, there's like no QR codes in these guys. What the heck are they gonna do? I honestly think hey, they're hey. not gonna do anything. I think like everyone's going like, oh, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do to replace it? And the simplest answer is <sighs> nothing. They're not they're, gonna do anything. Falco, you're literally killing your own game. And be positive, be positive. Don't be so negative. Don't be so negative. I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> Just don't be so negative. Falco, you're killing your own game. Is that more positive? I just make it positive. <laughs> Hey! But you know what? At least they've, they've paid tribute to Trump. Searing Wall of Sand. This card gains 200 zero and then the turn costs of three. Oh god. You, you could have at least pretended to make it good. That's a giant wall of sand now. Like it's well, yeah, but you got a 0 15 blocker for three, man. That's awesome. Like, it's a defensive card, but it's good. Okay, give me an example when, like, just because it's cheap and it's a big blocker? Yeah. Okay, all right. But it doesn't have flying or anything. Whatever, you can get it flying. There's one drop cards that give stuff flying. Okay. I'll let, I want to discard a full card. Yeah, you'll probably see one. I mean, what is it? It's an uncommon, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've already seen this guy. I'm a conspirator of atrocities. 
five cost, 1200, 1200. Put any amount of life. Oh, actually we haven't read it. We've seen it, I just haven't read it. Put any amount of life. Okay, sorry, pay any amount of life. Target resonator gains minus 100, minus 100 for each 100 life paid in this way until the end of the turn. The only thing it doesn't specify is you, you don't, I'm assuming you don't get life back. No, of course not. No, no, why would you get the life back? This would be good in my life game deck if I ever needed something aggro and I decided to split the colors up because, uh, okay. like, if I've got 90 life and I'm not doing anything with it, I could kill something that's bad. The only thing that bothers me is that the art on the card looks great, but it's another one of those bullshit cards that gave the resonator wings, but it doesn't have flying. Or fallen angel. Or fallen angel. Oh, like, this would look like a good oh fallen angel. You just, okay, you opened up a whole can of worms about shit I didn't, I completely forgot about. Okay, which is what? Okay. What is the point in making demon resonators for this set if the major synergy in the decks that came out for darkness was for fallen angels. I don't, I don't know, no, oh, oh, okay, we got And why would they even bother? Why not just make them demon There's, slash fallen angels or just straight fallen angels? I agree, I agree with you 100%. There's only, I think, two, when I looked at the, all the cards when they released this block and they finally put up all the card list, I think there's only two or three fallen angel resonators. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, synergize well with, you're not releasing any more rulers. From our understanding for this for this whole set, I think they're probably gonna cop out, dude. Are I they? I don't know why. I got it. Well, I, I don't know, but I got a feeling they're gonna cop out set four, like yeah. right before an, a new. I mean, assuming the company doesn't go under. <laughs> by that they're point. doing really well in Japan. They're doing really well in. Um, that makes me so Italy. happy for the Japanese. <laughs> it's like thank you. They're doing really well in Italy, which makes me happy because. Frick, if I retire to Italy, then I can still play this game. Yeah, but you're gonna have to learn how to read Italian, though. Because they don't translate gonna... them there. No, I know, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. I can read Italian for most of the time. Sa the sad part is, I was talking to um, one of the guys in the playgroup. I read the freaking Italian cards better than I read these cards. That's awesome. Hey, the next time you go on vacation to, to Europe, man, you should bring back some like Italian foul stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Bring back all the decks and be like, Play with these. You're gonna like them. <laughs> I'll tell you what the card does. <clears throat> Blade of Faith. I've already seen this. You may pay three less. Yeah, if you. So yeah. So you play for one, remove so, the resonator from the game. Hopefully, we get four of those. Uh, I think we've seen two. And oh, yes. Is that guy a rare? Yeah, it's a super rare. Nice. So I think we've seen. I don't know if we've seen two. We've seen one full art, and I think like one or two normals. I think yeah, one or two normals, and then definitely one I was. <clears throat> Damn, your pants are good, but jeez. Anyways, mm. nothing. Oh, this one's new. Bunkaku, the legendary tea kettle. When this card is put into the gear river from the field, you may put a beast from your hand into the field. It's a three cost, 300, 1200. This is a good blocker for three. Is that kind of a panda? It's like a red panda, I'm gonna say. No, no, but what's his creature type? Beast. Oh, I was like, is panda still getting support? That's crazy. Ooh, what's this one? Matt, Arbitrator of Judgment. One cost, 100 attack, 600 defense. <clears throat> Tap and pay one red, banish on the resonator, this card can deal 600 damage to target resonator. Tap and play three red, banish this card, this card deals 800 damage to target opponent. Oh, more of a burn. This would be good in a burn That's deck. That's actually not <clears throat> bad, if you can keep her alive. Does red have anything to keep uh, cards alive? Not really, uh, not no. really. But I mean, red and white have actually been like a really good color combo historically. But we have nothing to really play them with except statues. And when those, once those rotate out, are we gonna have anything to play? Mm -hmm. Guess we'll see. More glaze, more parallel stuff. So at least I can get more parallel cards. I'm gonna want all the parallel cards. Are you actually thinking of making a deck with nothing but Yes! Hey, hey, look, it's the non-alternate art version of that. I think that's the first one you've seen. Yeah. This one? Yeah. No, 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 that's rare, one? dude. Yeah, because that's this card. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh crap, you're right. Yeah. I didn't even, well. Dang. Yeah. I like that one better. Yes, same here. Like 100% better. And then Athena. I really like this card in full art. Like, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wait, the alt art was 1200, right? The alt oh, okay, art was, okay. Well, no, no, it's both of them have 1200 attack. No, the for alt defense. Alt art has defense. Okay. I hope I get an alt art. Well, you already got an alt art uh, sword saint, dude. So unless the pre-release boxes come with two, I think you're not gonna get another one. No, well, that's unfortunate. Eh, well, I don't know. There's something about this card I like. It's kind of useless, but it's cute. It's a squirrel, it's you so dingus. It's so cute. Okay, you're gonna have to read this card. And I got a card. But you've already got, you've already seen this one. Have we? Regan Leaf? Okay. Regan Leaf? It's the one that untaps all your stuff. Hmm, okay. Well then, just keep talking about something. And then, one of the cards I really like. It's all prison and full art. No! What? What do you mean, no? Is that soul prison? Oh no, it is that one. Sorry. Oh I god! Thought was, I thought that was I'm like, am I going one. mad? I thought that was a shitty one. Oh, okay. Nice. That's a really nice and full art. I, I don't know why, I just want this card in full art. I, I like the art. Yeah? It's useless, I really like the art. Yeah. It just looks cool. It's just, that I don't want to see the actual what he's sewing more. And I like this one too, but it's so useless. Four costs 800, 800 and it only gets flying? I mean, it's only a... <sighs> I don't think we've seen this yet. Room submerged beneath the misty spring. Addition. Whenever you play a water resonator, put a miscounter on this card. Remove two miscounters from this card. Target resonator gets barrier chant until the end of the turn. It's not too bad. It's not too too bad. More soul prison. And then look, a shackle of the mist. Yeah. 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 Getting less and less excited now. Well, yeah, because we've seen all the cards by this point, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's gonna leak. This one I like. This one I don't like. No, I don't like. We're gonna keep going through all the. Let's just include all the subscribers on like one side for, for the pre-release and be like, yeah, very good. I still want Sewing Zombie in like full art for some reason. I don't know why. Ooh. I've already seen the card. And then we have. Mermaid of the Misty Spring, 200, 800. To the end of the turn, for the card. Well, teach your teacher card right there. Oh, that was easy, jeez. Oh, just wanted to open up right away. That is the thing that they've improved. The quality of the packages are way better than they used to be. It used to be like ridiculously hard to open and it would actually end up damaging the tops of Ooh. the cards. Drop a card. That might be good. Again, that's probably good for your deck. Which I still want to build that deck too, just for the heck of it. Just cause it's fun. Oh, I've already seen this, haven't we? Nope. We haven't. Nope, we've seen the tech cards, not the actual resonator. Estima, the Returnee of Hatred. 700, 600 defense, three cost. It's a f oh, there we go, one of the Fallen Angel. Wanderer. What is a wanderer type? I've always wondered about that. Okay, so you know how there's planeswalkers and magic? Yep. Wanderers are supposed to pretty much be those guys. They're okay. the creatures that can go between the different worlds. Okay. This card looks fantastic, by the way. Flying, enter. Your opponent loses 500 life. If there are three or more runes revealed from your rune area, you gain 500 life. Pay 400 life, draw a card. Play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. Pay 1,000 life, your opponent loses 500 life, play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. So this would kind of work with your, if you do like a life gain kind of weird thing. It's kind of, I don't know, what are your thoughts on that? I like it, but I don't want to run dual colors right now. It's just yeah. such a pain in the ass. Okay, I cannot agree more. Oh, that's so cute. Mysterious party. Okay, this one does look great in full art. That's awesome. That does look pretty cool. Lord. Very cool. Scale of 
Descendant. Meh, nothing new. Oh, two. Oh, okay, we got stuck together. What about? Didn't you say Three you wanted to put the of... side? Did I? Oh, no, not that one. You were saying you want to get rid you want to put the green edition destruction on the side so you can like build a green deck, right? No, I'll figure it out. They're all going to be in the same now. I'm going to have to look through all of them. The Three Kingdoms Partition Plan. You yep. Pay oh, yeah, I've already read this card. No. Oh, we've got a full card full out of this one. Oh, do you think we might have a God Pack in this box? I hope so. I hope so. You know what? They should include, like, at least two God Packs per freaking box for the fact that they took away the QR codes. No, I mean, that's the whole point of the being God Packs, though, right? You only get one per crate. Do you? Yeah. Oh, per crate. Gotcha. Mm. Oh, that bumps me out so hard. Oh, that bumps me out so hard. Like, I was expecting it to happen, but I wasn't sure that they were going to go through with it. With what? Oh, with the QR codes? Yeah. You know what the reason why I think they stopped doing it? Money to print those freaking little cards. No, I don't think it's because of that. The QR code paper is completely like garbage. I'm just thinking that it was a nightmare for them to actually get them to people. Oh, uh, and that could probably cost us a ton of money to ship to every single individual. That's what I mean. I don't, and I don't think they're expecting that many people to buy them. Like to buy their, which is ridiculous. Like if you offer something like that, like come on, people are buying your product. They're showing you support. Yeah, but it just probably wasn't cost-effective for them. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. Like, that's unfortunate. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that with this full art one that you got here, mm -hmm. you probably have more than a playset of that, like, removed from game card now. No, not the red one. The one oh, the this one. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely do. I definitely do have a playset. Especially since I have, I think I have multiple, at least two. Oh no, I have at least two uh, full arts, I think. So if you don't get any, that's all. Wait for something and then... Just... I really want to rant about foul right now, but I don't want to go down the whole other like, ranting video. Well, I mean, what do you got on your mind? <laughs> like, the thing that still bothers me is like, they should have re-released the starter decks with this one. Like, I understand you've only released them at the beginning of the thing, it would have been nice to re-release starter decks with each block. Because that way, if there's new players that want to play the game, they can pick up a starter deck, and they can no, pick up a box of this, right? I think what you mean is reprint it, not re-release. Okay. Oh yeah, reprint it, fine, sorry. No, 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 yeah. like, I'm, just, I'm making sure that you're just yeah. saying what you're saying. Uh, yeah? Do, do you agree or not? Like, no, no, I, I agree mostly because I only bought one of the five boxes, right? One of the five well, decks, even so. our store didn't get enough product and like, I got lucky because nobody wanted to, like, when I showed up, I'm like, I'll buy five. And there was only one left over after that, and there was, and they haven't received anything since. And right now, in North America, you cannot get those starter decks anymore. Like, they're super hard for some reason to find. Hey, we get a numbering hedgehog in full art. It's got tiny little dinky legs. She's like... Just tiny, dinky legs. What are you thinking of? You're like deep in thought. Master Vee just laying back and just stroking his what he used to be, like a little goatee there. He's become a man and shaved, like some of us. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, we'll see where this goes. I'm just starting to feel like the game's starting to like, I hate to say it, but it feels like the game's like starting to die out. Like people are starting to lose interest. And the reason they're starting to lose interest is because there's not enough cars to get new people interested in it. Which is, okay, there's a caveat to that. The number, like through our, like our users that are watching these, these videos, we're starting to get more and more people that are like showing us that like somewhere out on their interwebs, there's a lot of people that actually enjoy playing this game. In real life, in our play group, it feels like the game's starting to die. You kind of agree? Well, or? yeah, but that's just Canada though, right? Yeah. This Hey, look. It's the first full art we got. <laughs> Maybe Canada's just not a good place for small TCGs to really flourish, like. 
Which is weird, because then you have like a place like Italy, which is a fairly small country, and it's doing well there. It's doing surprisingly, like, amazingly well. That's what, maybe because it's a small country and the people are like, more people in a, like, there's greater density of people in a smaller area. That's true. So maybe that could be why, but I don't know. I just don't know. I still like this card. It's just, I don't know if it's not that good. It's a nice card, it's just not that good. Hey, I think I have a full place out of these. Well, I definitely got two, and I know nice. I have pulled another one. Oh, and you got another fuller. Yeah. Nice. So, is, I have an alter of this one, or? You have an alternate art full art, you got two full arts, and yeah. I think you've pulled at least one of uh, just regular, so you've got at least a play set now. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Hey! Now we're starting to pull the, the darkness cards. Yes! Uh, I don't know why I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know why I'm excited about this. Like, it's not that great of a card, but. Okay, so what is he? What is he stitching there, bud? I don't know, but it's got like chains and. Okay, that looks very really cool. Okay, I'm gonna I have to show it up to you guys. That is a cool card. It's a three cost 400, 400, so it's kind of like meh. We discard this from the graveyard from the field with two, one, 200, 200 darkness enemies. So, I mean, that's. It's kind of nice to come up with that. Oh, also, I just realized that wasn't his hand. Oops. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Tsunade. Yeah. Tsunade. Bonnie Cat Ninja. Yeah, Barrier Champ for two. But, oh, we've already talked about this. Oh, it's yep. such a stupid leap. Yep, yep. All but right. I mean, at this point, it feels I feel like a broken record. It's like, it's a meme, but it's also just the fact. That, like, Force of Will just loves to do nothing but fan service for green. Why though? Is there a reason? Uh, okay, this know. is gonna be the last pack for this video, guys. Well, my speech talks. Like, is there a reason for that? No, there really isn't. Like, are they just like playing to the meme or something, or just being like, no, you should only play green decks? No, no, that'd make them way too self aware. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes! I think I've got a few cards of these. You should start putting those like aside oh. and just be like, hey, I've got like 20 of them. And it's a oh! full of them too! <laughs> Okay, oh, now I'm excited. God. Oh my god. You should make a 60 card deck with nothing but those things. <laughs> make a Loki deck with nothing but those guys. And then uh, every now and then just throw in those cards that are like, pull the next five cards and then they're, they're presented for all the fields. Yep. <laughs> every now and then, okay. All right, we're, we're, we need to like another little break, guys, and uh... Yeah, this was part two of the amazing pre-release kit unboxing adventures with Nova and Master Fija. Yeah. You know what? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make the. the you can move part. some stuff off camera and just, just so like we start with new piles. No, that is gonna fall over, <laughs> and I'm not helping you pick that shit up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ask you to leave my house, and that's gonna be <laughs> it. So get out. Alrighty. Hey guys, Nova here. So, um, in the process of um, looking for some art for making this this video, I was looking for art for Strangers of New Valhalla kind of came across something a little bit weird. I'm just gonna do this. So you know how uh, Eddie made that video about Falco bugging and stuff? Somehow, for some reason, he kind of ended up on uh, a Russian site there, if you're kind of looking at there. So yeah, the Russians are always kind of uh, paying attention to us.